Hello and welcome to day 30 of our Mindful Mornings, a 30-day yoga challenge to set us up for a more mindful way through movement and meditation. Today's focus is about forgiveness. We should be cooling off the feelings of anger and resentment with a cooling pranayama practice that we'll incorporate into our water element flow today. So as always, get yourself comfy, lie down or stay seated for our three minute grounding meditation please do subscribe to my channel and see what's happening next on my platform. And do stick around to the end of this video to find out what today's mindfulness task will all be about. Begin by either lying down or sitting comfortably as I guide you through the sensations of your body, whatever they may be today. Be aware of any heaviness, discomfort or fatigue, or perhaps lightness and energy within. Observe which sensations fluctuate and change over time and which remain constant. Pay attention to your reactions and just notice. Are you judging how you slept or wondering how the day will unfold? Instead of trying to push away these thoughts, simply notice them. See if they have any impact on how you feel and hold these thoughts and feelings with compassion. Now bring your conscious awareness towards your feet. Noticing any sensations that may be present. Tingling perhaps, pulsing or pressure points. Releasing your focus upon your feet and bringing your awareness towards your hands now. Observe any sensations in your palms, fingers or the back of the hands. And finally, direct your attention towards your breath, noticing the sensation of an inhale and an exhale. Let us remind ourselves that throughout the day, taking a pause and becoming aware of our feet our hands or our breath can make all the difference as a way for us to ground ourselves. We're going to dive straight into our pranayama practice and start with ujjayi breathing. So if we can, we'll be breathing in and out through the nose, but the first couple of rounds, you might like to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, or just in and out through the mouth, and then try to close the mouth and just breathe through the nose. Perhaps you could imagine that you're sipping your breath through a straw. It actually is this idea of restricting the space that the air flows through your throat. So your throat becomes a straw and you're therefore having to really slow down your breathing. So once you're sipping through a straw of water or beverage, then you'll be taking in the liquid slower than if you took a big gulp of water. So 
you also might like to think about the sound of your breath being like the ocean the ocean rolling up and down the seashore, this sound of shh through your nose. Rest the hands wherever they feel comfortable, perhaps palms facing down for a grounding effect. Here you might like to exhale the breath through the mouth. Inhale through the mouth. I'm going to exhale through the nose, restricting my throat. Then I'm just going to easefully breathe in either nose or mouth. Again, restricting the throat for the exhalation through the nose, like you're sighing. Try to do that a few more times, starting to cultivate an awareness of the sound and the sensation. It's usually a little easier on our exhales to master our ujjayi. Feel that restriction of throat the sound of the ocean. If you can, keep that restriction of the throat to follow through for your inhalation through the nose as well. Feel your whole body fill with air. So it's like three parts, the belly, the ribs, the heart space are expanding and not just the front of the body, but also side ribs and the back body expands with each inhale. And then it's the reverse as you exhale. I'm going to leave you with that amount of detail today for Ujjayi. Continue to breathe this way for a few more rounds of breath. Today's focus is about forgiveness. Forgiveness in particular towards ourself. We are so harsh, the words, the thoughts that we have about ourselves, we are more often than not our own worst critic. Give yourself permission to be as you are, to accept who arrives on your mat today and offer kindness and forgiveness. If you can, continue to ujjayi breathe throughout your practice and start to now do a little seated cat-cow, rounding the spine as you exhale, and then lifting the heart as you inhale, opening the heart and the shoulders. Cycle through that a few more rounds. We're going to follow on to take some circular motions, leaning towards one knee, heart can sort of drop towards that knee, and then sweeping your way forwards over to the other knee, and then rounding through your cat, continuing the circle in the same direction for a few rounds. So there's a familiar sensation of the cat-cow, but we're adding these circular leaning forwards and back motions. And then changing it up, going the other direction. And then coming upright, lean one hand off to one side, not overthinking which way you go. Reach your other arm up and over. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Reaching the arm up and over. And then bring your hands out in front of you and step back to downward facing dog. Give that a generous pedal out. Keep coming back to the rhythm of your ujjayi the sound and the sensation of breath, using that as a calming tool to bring you into the present moment. From downward facing dog, lift the right leg and then place the right foot in between your hands. Through to warrior two now, we ground the back heel and windmill and continue to windmill the right arm up 
And then, so it's leaning back, <laughs> reverse warrior in fact, and then start to look towards your left foot and slowly sweep that right hand along the earth. So we're going to start to sweep the arms up and through these circular motions. So it goes through warrior two, your reverse warrior. And then start to bring your fingertips along the earth. Find that touch of the ground upon your finger pads. It's a way to connect to the earth. And now, next time that you bring your hands forwards towards the right foot, Step it up to the top of your mat. Take a forward fold, exhale. Hands begin to rise, inhale. Thumbs to heart space. From here, reach the arms upwards. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift the spine. Step back, downward facing dog. Pause, breathe. Lift the left leg, inhale. And then place left foot in between your hands. Into your warrior two, but we continue to windmill our way up and through. Straight back to your reverse warrior and then continue that left hand sweeping down as though you're reaching towards the right foot on the floor and then sweeping the fingers of both hands along the floor and then leading the right arm, lifting you up and through your reverse and then again trailing those fingers along the floor and one more round. water-like motions, the arms, hands rest to the top of the mat, step it up, halfway lift, and to fold. Hands rise up, inhale, thumbs connect to heart space, exhale. Hands rise again, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift the spine. Step back, downward facing dog. From here, lift the right leg to the sky. Right knee towards the face. Tiger curl. Right leg lifts. Right knee towards the face. Exhale. Lift the leg. One more time, knee towards the face. Place the right knee down in front of your right wrist. We're heading to pigeon pose. So dropping the back knee, some of us might need a little prop underneath the right buttock. I'm gonna bring my right ankle a little underneath. You could bring it further forwards. And what we're trying to aim to do in our pigeon is keep our hips actually level with one another. Try to avoid dropping down one hip lower than the other. If you can, drop down onto the forearms. Perhaps you've taken a pillow there or a bolster. We're gonna hang out for at least a minute here, lounging in this posture. An alternative is deer pose where both legs are bent and you're going to go over your right shin instead. Here, working into our hips and outer thigh. Great pose for anyone that suffers with sciatic nerve issues. Definitely one of my go-to poses when I've been walking a whole lot or even sitting. And we're just using the weight of our body to really help guide us here. I'm not shoving myself deeper. I'm just seeing if with each exhalation, there might be a little more space to drop into. And then slowly starting to lift your way up. 
From here, I invite you to drop onto your right hip. So if you do have a block there or a pillow, just gently remove it and then start to roll onto the buttocks and windscreen wipe the legs by leaning your hands back. Extend the left leg out to the side, tuck the right ankle foot in, and reach towards the left foot. Don't worry about the spine being perfectly straight. Don't worry about the leg being perfectly straight. Just let yourself drape here, and then over the next count of five, let your head drop to where it can drop, and then slowly unravel. So it's a slow count of unraveling. You're slowly making your way up right to sit. And then your right hand's gonna reach out away from your right hip. You're gonna lean your weight into your right shin. So push hips up and forwards. And a bit of a wild thing, variation. Maybe you extend the left arm up towards the ceiling or overhead. And then gently drop the hips. We're gonna step back, downward facing dog. From downward dog, when you're ready, left leg will rise. Knee towards the face, tiger curl, so hips stay high. Lift the leg up, inhale, three-legged. Knee towards the face, exhale. One more time, lift the heel, then knee towards the face, pause, then look forwards and gently drop left knee behind left wrist. Then we're setting up for pigeon on that second side. So this side might feel very different to the first. Allow for those differences. And as we settle in here, come back to that smooth oceanic breath, Ujjayi. What does forgiveness look like to you? If you were being forgiven by someone close to you, what does that look like? Can you remember the feeling of being forgiven? We are human, we are not perfect, we make mistakes, we deserve forgiveness. What would it feel like? What would it look like to forgive ourselves? Then we slowly lift our weight up. And as we do that, we want to rock the weight onto that left hip. If you have anything supporting you there, remove it. And then a little windscreen wipe of the legs, just leaning the hands back behind you. And then sitting upright, extend right leg out to the side, left sole of foot to inner right thigh, and then reach towards the right foot, not overthinking the exact shapes you're creating, just extending away. And then let your head become as heavy as it can on your next exhale. And then we start to unravel slowly. So it's slow and controlled, count of five. And when I say unravel, that means slowly lifting up to seat sit tall. Once you're sitting left hand out away from the left hip towards the front of the mat, push your hips forward so that you come into the weight of your left shin. Reach either right arm up towards the ceiling or overhead. Take the gaze wherever it feels good. Push hips forwards. And then slowly sink the hips to the mat. And we slowly guide our way to our spine. Any props that you might require, go ahead and grab them. Now allow the breath to just breathe with complete ease. Feel the sense of forgiveness wash through you.
Yeah, we wiggle fingers, we wiggle toes, maybe add a deep stretch. <sighs> we slowly make our way to sit. Hands to heart. Today. Day 30, we made it to the end of our challenge. I cannot thank you enough for joining me, joining us on our Mindful Mornings journey. Do stick around with my channel and see what's coming next. I can't wait to see you again on your mats very soon. Our final mindfulness task of this series. Take a few moments to reflect on someone in your life that you've been holding perhaps some resentment or even anger towards. This could be, of course, yourself. Visualize their face. Imagine them standing in front of you. Take a big, deep breath and repeat the following words silently or out loud. I forgive you for any pain or hurt you have caused me. I release any negative emotions and choose to let go of resentment. I wish you peace and happiness. Allow yourself to truly feel the weight of forgiveness lifting off your shoulders. Remember, forgiveness is not about condoning the actions of others, yourself, but it's about freeing yourself from the burden of anger and resentment. Take this practice of forgiveness with you throughout your day. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like it below, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Not only will this keep you up to date with my offerings, but will keep content like To The Being free and accessible to all.